we're back. And we're going to talk some smack. We're smarter and stronger. And more coordinated. And there's a high chance this will be our first and last week. <laughs> Finally, the band is back together, back and bigger than ever. We may be three weeks late, but you know what they say, better late than never, right? That's what some Kiwis are saying about the Blues. Week two, and they're on the board. Kane's train, the Hurricanes that is. Can they continue the momentum against the Sharks or will it be a whitewash? We get creative with memes and we'll let you know how you can get involved too. As always, hard-hitting rugby analysis, a healthy dose of competition, and, yeah, some questionable chat. Let's kick it off. and welcome back to the kickoff. Yes, we are back for season two, back bigger and ever. And we have missed you so much at home and we've missed having the band back together as well. Three weeks late, but it's all good. We're here. We made it back as well, Dag. Better late than never. Better late than never. That's what they always one, say. So. And Stacey, <laughs> new last name, mm -hmm. same person, Flula. Congratulations on yes, the leading. Thank you. There it is. Carlton Anna, <coughs> as always, looking absolutely fantastic. Well, You've got to come a bit this. dapper. You've got to come with something strong in the, in the first, first. Exactly. Tra go. A bit stronger than Izzy <laughs> and his stronger dandle. than the toes. Yeah. 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 Get those toes up, Izzy. Yeah. The goat. The goat. Girls, how are you? You've been out fishing today. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all still laughing a bit at what your picture was in that opening title. How come, how come anyone gets a professionally done photo when I get the... <laughs> That's average form, mate. Not a good way to start the show, can No, you? no, it's not. Well, it wasn't up to me, was it? Mills, how was your fishing trip today? Did you catch anything? I did. I caught, yeah. I caught the biggest fish today, so I'm, I'm stoked. But you're right, hey, we're back. Three oh. weeks. I was beginning to get a little bit worried after three weeks of not being on, so I put myself on breakdown just to cover the bases. Oh, sure, oh you know? right, trading. Nice. We're, trading back. we're back. We're back in there. We're back, and we've got some new things. It was a year. goldfish. I don't put goldfish in the sack, mate. Hey, look at that. 20-pounder. OK, well, we are back, and we are bigger. We've got some new things this season, and one of them is the meme. You know social media? <laughs> <laughs> the meme. The meme. Okay, we've got a new, a new segment called Caption This. We've got a picture to show you at home, and we want these guys, and we want you as well, to participate. What is your caption for this picture? Grant Fox, Ian Foster. <laughs> You can participate on this. Just go onto our Instagram page at Sky Sport NZ. It is down there for the details. Just take a look at the bottom of your yeah, screen. And we're going to read them out during the show. Yeah, we're so I got the them iPad. Out. They give it to the most technological spaz. Yeah, yeah, they've given it to you. As he's one of the most followers, he's got about 100,000. I know. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the meme. Was it? Meme. <laughs> 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 the meme. There's one here, see, from G uh, Jefferson, Sacramento. Remember Izzy Dag's tackle and Julian, <laughs> Julian Savio. <laughs> that's what they're talking about. So make sure you hit us up on the handles, the Insta oh. snap, the, the face snap, and we'll read it out. Yeah. You got something yeah. good. Have you guys got anything? Have you got a caption for this? Oh, I just you can see the lady up top. She's a, she's like she's holding her nose. She's like, and I think Fozzy must have fired or something. <laughs> 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 what happened last year when you mentioned that? We'll be taken off here as quickly as oh, we've been put on here. Yeah, okay. You know, no, he must have anyway. He must have. It's been a long holiday, hasn't it? Yeah, it is. It's been a long holiday. <laughs> 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 Let's lose this. It's like getting all your cousins yeah. together, right? It's just like it's the worst. All the cousins. <laughs> KT, what did you get up to over the holidays? Oh, yeah, and I actually did a bit of work. Did, um... <laughs> work, did oh, I did. I, did. Oh, yeah. I gave back to the community. Oh. Gave back to the community and stuff. So, no, it was great. It was yes. great curse. Yeah. I think we've got a few... Well, I did, well sorry, I did go to the beach. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you were working hard or hardly yeah, working. But, no, no, um, yeah, but, no, we went over and Lupini, that out in Busso, got, a, oh, got wow. inducted into a Hall of Fame over in Fiji, so went and helped out the bro. And, obviously, when I work, I still try and hang out with the peeps as well. So, when you guys are laying around on the beach, on the out working and... Played a bit of touch for the bar bars. Uh, for Qatar, oh, so, yep, uh, who's that? Carlos is there on the left. And, oh my oh, god! Oh, that's, oh, look at that. that's a hook! Oh, wow. That's a hook! Look at that! Oh. <laughs> nah, I just went over to America, had a good trip with the lads. Hard uh, work. Went hard to the Super Bowl. Ooh. Probably the highlight of my Ooh. life, really. It was a hell of an event. You? And I uh, spent some time with the family. Did so, you? Yes, you I had did. a humble there was, holiday, only, eh? there was only one week. Uh -huh. So that's what retired life will get you, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. No, when I retired, I booked that trip in, and the wife felt sorry for me. She said yes, and then come around, she was actually 
Yeah, she was regretting she said yes, but I already <laughs> booked it, I already paid for the tickets, so we're there. Oh, why you were. Mills, what did you get up to? Well, well, well some of us are off sort of uh, globing around the world and going to Super Bowl <laughs> and pretending he's paying. You didn't pay for that trip. I'm wearing the hard yards with my kids. Look at that. That's leg day as well, because I'm training in the gym. I'm going backwards. And you notice how much I've pulled with that bloody You're not even looking at where you're going. Those kids have got no seatbelts on. <laughs> it's That's actually illegal. It's a cul-de-sac, mate. There's no... <laughs> <laughs> That's how you knew Batch and why he is at Mills. Oh, no. You didn't get him oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Stacey, lucky last. Mm -hmm. We've got some pictures of you as well. You had a pretty wow. amazing summer. It wasn't a holiday, but it was pretty incredible. No, historic moment. Playing here at home in front of all of our family and friends. There's, there's no words to describe it, really, and what, what better way to finish than to win? Yeah, yeah exactly. The only one Puts working, everyone really? else to change. Awesome. <laughs> Special moment. Nice and, me. you know, New Jersey, new name. Love it. Yeah. Love yeah. it. How, how was that? Like, you know, obviously you had Waka mm. before, they were mm. the first time running out at home. Oh, hams it was or flu. weird. It was weird, but <laughs> really? I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud to yeah. represent my husband. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> let's have a look at your weekend day. We're into round three, so let's take a look what's coming up in Super Rugby. First up, we have the big derby, the Blues taking on the Crusaders tomorrow night from Eden Park. And that game is all about supporting the rainbow community. So dress up, wear your rainbow colours, flags will be handed out during the game. It will be awesome. The Rebels take on the Waratahs in Melbourne and the Chiefs are over in Tokyo up against the Sunwolves before the Hurricanes take on the Sharks. Cheap pies at that game as well, just $2 pies. And after what you did last week, Izzy, oh, I think you had a hot dog, two packets, two wow. packets of chips and a pie in Dunedin. It's actually in Canberra. Come on. <laughs> to your trip. What? To the case of Canberra. No, the Hurricanes yes. Sharks. Oh, yeah. The Hurricanes, not we, the Highlanders. We ate that in Dunedin. So yeah, yeah, but there's a bit. cheap pie deal. No, I don't need it. You <laughs> we know you love your pies. I know you, you love your pies. All. Okay, let's talk Blues Crusaders though, because this is the big one. Isn't is that it? why you wore black? <laughs> 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 Wait, I learned one it. thing: white brings it all out. Black hides it, brother, and loose XL. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Well, it's a Valentine's Day at Derby tomorrow night. The Blues taking on the Crusaders. The Crusaders, they've won the last 10 fixtures. And who have they got on their team to tackle this one? Let's take a look at the forwards, first of all. The Blues, while they pack a one-two punch. Carl Tuinokuathe and Offa Tuangafasi. Well, what happened there with the throat? <laughs> Two all blacks in there, though, Mills. Great start for the Blues. Yeah, not bad. And also, James Parsons returning as well. He's been out with uh, with injury. But they've got a uh, you know, pretty good uh, loose trio as well. Dalton Papali and also Hoskins Tutu being very impressive with how they've gone the last two weeks. Yeah, let's take a look at the backs now. The Crusaders are impressive despite losing a number of players last year. Bryn Hall, Richie Moonga, they link up again, Stacey. I think it's important, the combination between 9 and 10. And, uh, he brings a lot of stability to the team. He's got an amazing bullet pass, so I think the connection between those two are going to go well. He's he's an amazing player, so it, it'll be good. As he will give you reserves, uh, Sione Havali. He's yep. making his debut for the Crusaders. What can you tell us about him? A wonderful season for Tasman. He did everything well. He's a, he's a physical player, and I know Razor's got high regards with him. You know, they've got a guy, Roots, on the bench, Ethan Roots. So if you're keeping him out, he must be good. So it'd mm. be good to see how Willie go out there and, and do his mahi and, you know, carry the ball hard. He's a hard... He carries the ball, you know, well and gets over the advance line. Tracksuit Thursday, what are you reckon about those two teams? It's going to be a heck of a derby. Yeah, yeah, it will be. You know, and I, and I think, you know, like the Crusaders, they, 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 were, they left a lot of points on the park last week and I think they get those things straight. Yeah. It's going to be, be a different game. But the benches, what I saw last week in the first two weeks is the benches that have come on and make, make an impact and that's two strong benches as well. You were on the plane with the Crusaders today, is he? Yeah. You know Razor well. Are you expecting a massive response from that side this week? Yeah, 100%. I went in uh, yesterday and uh, there's been a lot of edge within yeah. the group and Razor, I know I've, I've seen him when he's when he's lost, he's not very happy. So <laughs> the boys, yeah, they'll be ready for this. They know this is a big match. The Blues, they've always had tight battles against them, so they're now going to be up for it. This, this is a different Blues side, though. Eh? Yeah. I, I yeah. honestly reckon it is. Like, yeah. in the past year, you'd say there's a big backlash. But, man, what, from what I've seen the last two weeks, this is a totally different Blues side. I'm looking forward to this game. It's going to yeah. be massive. And the thing is, too, I think the last couple of games I've played, the Blues have actually led them and, and quite healthily. Yeah. So it'll be interesting, like you say, with a different vibe, yeah. where they don't capitulate as much as previous seasons. It's, it's, you can tell there's a there's different Some, feeling yeah, they built on, yeah, built yeah. on last season. Right? Mm. Well, <coughs> let's take a look at our, our big match-up this week because, well, we want to talk about the backs, don't we? We want to talk about the guys that <laughs> score all the points <laughs> in the team. Yes. We've got Sebu Reese <laughs> and Mark Talia. And these wingers, they are great, aren't they, Stacey? Oh, they're strong, they're powerful runners. Look at them go. Um, they just slice through the D-line all the time. Look at it, look at his carry there. 
three, four, five defenders. It's very so, Flula like though. Oh. You know, like, she's got a, <laughs> he's got a low centre of gravity, very strong for the contact though with the good feet. And as you know, as a defender, tough to do. Well, Talia, he, what he's doing well, he's getting off his wing, yeah. looking for work, he's round nine, yeah. and that's what I think Sevu needs to do this week is go look for the ball because when Sevu's got the ball, something can happen. He's a wonderful finisher, mm -hmm. as you can see coming up. He he can score. You know, five minutes out, he's going to score a try 100% of the time. But if he can get in there and get working and look for that ball, you know, the Crusaders have more of a chance. After such a breakout season in 2019, is it difficult to back up that sort of form the year after, Mills? It can be because everyone's on you now. You know, you're marking up, you know, you've got two defenders on you. So the second year is always your toughest because, you know, all of a sudden you're not that sort of the, the new guy on the block to bring out this thing. So they know he's strong. You know, you look at how Severus is, he's very, he's a small player, but mm. he's, he's powerful. So mm. they know they've got to take care of him and wrap him up a lot, uh, a lot better. Mark Talia, now, you know, first real season, like you said, he's been real busy. I've been impressed with the way he's, he's gone and shown some real good speed, but certainly in Severus, um, and in terms of the second year, massive for him. And he's showing some good signs. Mm. Well, two touches, two tries. Yeah. Yeah, not bad, yeah. eh? Not bad at all. Yeah. Uh, well, we know that the Crusaders have lost a number of players. Very different looking sides. Still very experienced, but they have lost over a thousand caps, I think it was, Izzy. Um, they lacking experience. Is that making a massive difference for them this year, KT? Oh. You're scratching your head. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Oh, when you lose experience, it's always going to be tough. You know, but I think the, the thing with the Crusaders, they've always had guys to step into that role. And I think, yeah. like I said, last week, they weren't far off. If they score those points in that first half, they're out to a pretty handy lead. So a small skill execution. I think the way their forwards are going, Mood was back last week. I think their forwards ran heavy and over, you know. So holy oh, 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 wow. lost that far. Oh, 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 Holy <laughs> cow. Over experienced. Where's that hair gone? <laughs> <laughs> mm, beautiful. You have aged gracefully, I must wow. say. You have aged gracefully. Thanks, Kirsty. You have aged um, a bit. Nah, touching on what KT was saying, they have lost a bit of experience. It'll be easy for them to use that as an excuse. They've got a wonderful uh, leadership group in there now, and they've got the same coaches, so there's, there's no excuse. Like KT, they'll just that far off, and they would have been all right. Yeah. Yeah. Gay, okay, remember, st starting us up on the social Yeah, has, any, has anything happened no, no, on our no, social media No, everyone's takeover? gone quiet after you've been busy, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, we can hit this up, it's fine. Oh. OK, well, we're going to stick with the backs now, and we're going to talk about the all-important pivot for the Crusaders, Ruchi Moonga. He's such an important member of this team, isn't he? And now he's back after getting injured in that first week. So how will that change that side, having him there in 10? <sighs> Ruchi brings a lot of experience, you know. He knows how to break the line. Um, he attacks that line all the time. He's got electric feet. Um, he's got the vision, he's got the skill, he's got the pace and he's got the power. So to see him back into that um, first five role, I think he's going to make a huge difference for the Crusaders this weekend. Did yeah. they miss him last week? Oh, they certainly did. I mean, Harvey was fantastic <laughs> for me. But I, I think just having someone that plays, you know, 10, you know, week in, week out, and his experience, you know, the last few years, um, the way he's come on, he's been injured, you know, in the early rounds, so, you know, there's no problem with him coming back after being out for one, but it's his control as well, you know, sizing up the moment and seeing opportunities, but his ability to be able to execute as well, like, especially his kicking, yeah. it doesn't have to be flat ones, he'll see an opportunity, but the way he executes things, for me, is second to none. Mm. Yeah. Well, we've got another a new thing on the show this year, and that is Rugby Pass. They have joined forces with Sky Sport, and we've got a question straight from them to our panel. And maybe you can even get involved Ooh. and send us in questions for wow. future weeks as well. But this week's question, should Leon McDonald have picked <coughs> David Harvelli over Bowden Barrett? Izzy, you want to get stuck into this <laughs> one, don't you? Tell well, me your best, mate. First up, Leon trying to, yeah. Try and get a few full of players. So, one, Davey would never go on the Blues, so that's out the gate. That's gone. Never. 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 I know say for never. A fact. never. Never. Yeah. He would have never gone would to the Blues. Would you have gone? Why? I would never go on the Blues. No way. <laughs> Just because he's, he's played over 80 something caps at the Crusaders. He loves Christchurch. That's his home. When you're born there, and he's playing well, he's probably the form player after two weeks in the game. So, he's never going to leave. And Bodie, everyone's complaining about Bodie being on holiday. He's earned that holiday. Mm. If, you're, if you're not playing rugby, what does he want to do? Stay at home, watch TV? He's going to go out and he's going to experience the world. So, he deserves it. He's done 10 years. He's two-time world, yeah, world player of the year. But yeah. it's, it's not just that, mahi. though. It's yeah. not just that. It's the, the ability to be able to keep him in New Zealand. Mm. Like, he, mm. he, we, don't, we don't give him that, and he goes away and gets, earns $10 million a year. Yeah. You yeah. know, and that's, the, that's probably the difference. You don't want guys to aspire to be like Bowden and Barrett. And, you know? and for him, it's, it's more of a mental break, <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. You know, he wants to get away from it. And just, get on, the, yeah. and just get on the socials, talking about 10, uh, what's Perth Kiwi 09 said, and then I said to Aaron Cruden, if he'd come back from Japan, I'll give you the 10 jersey. I mean, uh, is Aaron Cruden in the conversation? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, that's an interesting talking point, isn't it? Is Aaron Cruden in that conversation? Stacey, what do you think? Chiefs and um, all? 
I don't think Fozzie will put too much pressure on him. I think if he if he wants to be back, he might give him the opportunity. But yeah, can't can't say too much. Yeah, he, he's in form. Millsy, chase me. Well, I think if you're a if you're a journalist and you look at the round two and you look at the form, you'd have to say yes. You know, but it's early rounds. Mm. I think what he's come yeah. done is he's come back. You know, he's bought it all his experience. The guys are sort of fed off of that. Mm. But you know, he's he's the, the times he's come on in the second half against the, the Blues, he's really changed the game against the Crusaders as well. Man, his defence. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps it's from France. You know, he's, I mean, he's always known how to tackle, but now he's really hitting. Oh, that was... So he's, it's a, he's, he's definitely in good form. Just before we move on, quickly uh, for you, Izzy, you know the game. Start one, bench one, drop one. I've got one for you. <laughs> Bowden Barrett, Richie Moonga, Dan Carter. Go. Uh, start. Bodie. Uh, bench Richie. See you, Desi. <laughs> 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 He's at Louis, 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 Louis Vuitton anyway, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Melzi, moving on to your favourite team, the Blues. Let's talk about them. Uh, Hoskins Satutu, he's been so fantastic this season. He's keeping Akira Ioane out of that number eight jersey. What have you made of him? Oh, he's, he's powerful. Everything you wanted in a number eight, he's, he's good around, um, you know, off, off the back of a scrum. But his defence work as well has been great. Young, young talent. He's been in that environment for a wee while learning. I, I think... You know, um, Leon McDonald, and we talked about this in round one, the fact that, you know, he's probably actually, you know, suited the style of play that they're wanting. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, he escaped a, a red card, yellow card last week, so his techniques is right. But I think the balance of what he's, he's, what he's actually doing and his combination, especially with, uh, with uh, Dalton Papatli, has is, is been, um, you know, a really good one. Perhaps it's, you know, that it's really starting to gel and something that McDonald would be really happy about. Let's talk about the rest of that forward pack then. Mm. Do you think that forward pack's going to be able to dominate the Crusaders this weekend? Dominate, I'm not quite sure, but parity, I think they, they will. And I think that's all their backline needs. I think their, their four pack's been a real shining light the last couple of couple of weeks for the Blues. You know, when we spoke about how, how hard working the, the back three are, the back rowers, I, I think they do that again. But yeah, no one really dominates the Crusaders four pack, you know. But if you can just get 50 50, that's all you can ask for. And if you get that, then while well, you're in the game. Have you seen an improvement, a massive improvement from last year to this year with their forward pack? Yeah, massive. Like, and I think they can take some confidence. Like, they're playing against the Crusaders, and you know they, they won last year, so they can take that. There's no pressure on them. Um, if they can match them, take the confidence that they have in the past two weeks, then I think they'll go well. Okay, moving on to the midfield now. Let's talk midfield. We're talking about Joe Marchin, the Englishman mm. that's come over from Harlequin. Such an interesting signing, and TJ Fayani. How are they tracking compared to what we saw last year? Sonny Bill Williams, Ma'anonu. Well, two games in, you'd think they're tracking pretty well with, with you know, their defence work. You see they're, they're busy. Yep. Uh, Fiani, Fiani's just gone from strength to strength, from a mite of 10 to last year's Super. He was playing every game as well. They've got a formidable combination, and they're up against a, a formidable combination with Goodhue and Eno. So yeah. yes. that's a hell of a yeah. juicy matchup. Mm -hmm. How know? good is that? How good is that matchup, and who takes that and, one? And Young too. I mean, yeah. and, and probably yeah. I mean you look at you look at Goodhue and uh, Eno, big powerful men on the on the other side, much and, and TJ Fan, just get a little bit of consistency together because you know much and uh, turned up late as well. But having that consistency and trying to get that combination um, right, you know, earlier on has been great. But then you look at the other side in terms of Goodhue's work rate, but also being able to see the space and you know, at the time that they, they came out of their own half and sort of been able to look up and see the opportunities and feed it in, I think that's probably an area that the Crusaders will have over the Blues, the fact that those guys can see opportunities, be able to feed it into to more. And it just comes from experience and being around each other and being able to click um, faster than perhaps the other team could. You're just looking too sharp, too smart over there, KT. Can't take you seriously. <laughs> are those actual... Oh, sorry, just, just you know. Like, yeah, the proper, they just... The proper lenses. Yeah? Yeah, no. Look, going blo true. Check. You'd be able to see in Australia back with those. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What do you reckon? Clark Kent. Oh, oh, yes, oh, Clark Kent. Who is that guy? You a bit. Clark, Clark Kent. <laughs> you look more intelligent as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> say something, Clark. <laughs> OK, well, up next we are talking Sharknado. Have you seen the movie? I hadn't, these guys hadn't, but we've got a wee clip for you. The very last time the Sharks and the Hurricanes went head-to-head.
Yes, well, two weeks on the road. The Hurricanes have been to Africa. They've went to Buenos Aires as well. And now they're back home in Wellington at the brand new Sky Stadium up against the Sharks, the Durbanites. It is going to be one heck of a match after what we saw in Dunedin. Let's get in touch with someone from Wellington, hey? One of your best mates, Izzy. Oh, We're going to go straight oh. to the capital city. <laughs> Corey Jane, are you with us? Come in. Oh, he is. Oh, look at that. Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Hello, uh, yeah. Uh, apologies. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you've been... Oh, you, you go, okay. So, sorry, yeah. CJ, I know you, you, you're getting all technological with the coaching stuff and getting used to all that. How long did it get, take you to get the Skype on? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know how to set up my username. Uh, <laughs> uh, very, very frustrating, I tell you. What is your username? Point, but, um, uh, B69428 7 slash something like that. <laughs> I it he'll he'll uh, never use it again. Uh, ever. Delete. <laughs> hey, Siege, obviously two weeks overseas. Uh, what'd you get up to? And, and did you go over to Camps Play? And uh, you know, did you go to any lion parks or anything in, in, in uh, South Africa or Argentina? Uh, Israel. Uh, good to hear your voice again, man. Uh, no, I didn't. I. Um, I walked up Table Mountain uh, yeah. with, uh, with uh, Alfie, the head coach, and our team manager. Uh, worst decision ever. <laughs> so hard. Um, it took 80 minutes. Um, and I got to the top, and there was uh, fog and mist, and we were soaked, and I could only see 10 metres in front of me. So there was no view. Uh, so it was a waste of time. <laughs> CJ, how, I wanna, I'm interested in how you're finding the role. Obviously, you were with Wellington last year, defensive coach. You leaked a few tries early on in the season, but you guys came back and sort of and got into the finals. There was glimpses of that in round one in, over there in, uh, in South Africa. How, 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 have the guys, how have the guys reacted to your, to your training methods? Is that an earthquake or? No, uh, sorry, Mills. Um, my internet cuts out with serious <laughs> So, hold on. I'll try and get it back. Well, are you uh, going to... Uh, Go, oh, mate. The words you said. I, I was asking how you're finding it and, and how you're finding the guys, are they connecting to the stuff that you're wanting them to do? Because you leaked a few points with Wellington earlier on. <laughs> I think it, I think it's going to take time. I think uh, you've noticed with all rugby teams uh, in the Super Rugby that with a small pre-season, uh, there's a lot of mistakes and teams quite haven't got their rhythm yet. So it's going to take time for every team. Um, but, mate, I'm competitive. Uh, you know, I, I've got a goal to to try and win and get the players better. So uh, it's going to take time, but I'm after it. Hey, Siege, was it quite buzzy? You know, it was, it was a disruptive um, sort of build-up for you guys. Was it quite buzzy to get the call-up? You know, you're assistant coach now for the Kings? Uh, yeah, it's quite cool. I mean, I, obviously, I enjoyed doing the Lions, and I still had uh, one more year to go with them. Um, and I kind of knew a couple of weeks before the All Black announcement that there might be some changes coming. So I didn't know that I was going to get the job, but... I had a kind of an inkling that there was an opportunity. So uh, when it came, when it came, <laughs> <laughs> a wink, is it? When the opportunity, uh, when the opportunity come, uh, obviously I enjoy doing defence and uh, it's a challenge, but, um, you know, I'm after it anyway, like I said before, so can't wait. Doing mean, bro, doing mean. Nice. See, mm. after the game, you're going into Jace Holland's room or TJ's? <laughs> Uh, management now, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a fishy! Yeah. Oh, he's a fishy! Oh, Don't hey, lie, man! Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, mate, just out for coffees all the time with management and you know, <laughs> serious, serious so stuff um, hey, as well. So CJ, one last question from me. There's been a lot of talk about TJ Pedernato being such an honest man and saying he didn't get that try. Be honest, would you have claimed that you got that try? <laughs> oh, he's full of rubbish. Anyway, he knows he didn't get it. the ref saw he didn't get it. That's why he said it. <laughs> hey, TJ's the most competitive player ever. So uh, I know there's a lot of nice stuff, and he is a good man. But, um, mate, if you can win by cheating a little bit. CJ, we've got to cut you off. You're talking too long. Thank you so much, though. We can't wait to have you back on this couch. Good luck this weekend. Thank you guys for coming Senator on the show. Well. That's us. Oh, 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 oh jeez. Oh, 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 Thank you very much and thank you at home for watching us out. See you next week. <laughs>